Good morning. My name is Jen McComb. I'm with Zion Episcopal Church in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. Today is Tuesday, September 17th, 2024, and I'm really glad that you're here to pray the daily office with me. We'll be using the Book of Common Prayer, right to found on page 80, and there's two Psalms today, Psalm 61 and Psalm 62. All right, let us begin. The hour is coming, and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and truth, for such the Father seeks to worship him. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Continuing on page 82 with the Venite. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Come, let us sing a song to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the caverns of the earth and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture, and the sheep of his hand. Oh, that today you would hearken to his voice. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. We'll continue with Psalm 61, found on page 668. Hear my cry, O God, and listen to my prayer. I call upon you from the ends of the earth with heaviness in my heart. Set me upon the rock that is higher than I, for you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the enemy. I will dwell in your house forever. I will take refuge under the cover of your wings. For you, O God, have heard my vows. You have granted me the heritage of those who fear your name. Add length of days to the king's life. Let his years extend over many generations. Let him sit enthroned before God forever. Bid love and faithfulness watch over him. So will I always sing the praise of your name, and day by day I will fulfill my vows. Continuing with Psalm 62. For God alone my soul in silence waits. From him comes my salvation. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold so that I shall not be greatly shaken. How long will you assail me to crush me, all of you together, as if you were a leaning fence, a toppling wall? They seek only to bring me down from my place of honor. Lies are their chief delight. They bless with their lips, but in their hearts they curse. For God alone my soul in silence waits. Truly my hope is in him. He alone is my rock and my salvation, my stronghold so that I shall not be shaken. In God is my safety and my honor. God is my strong rock and my refuge. Put your trust in him always, O people. Pour out your hearts before him, for God is our refuge. Those of high degree are but a fleeting breath. Even those of low estate cannot be trusted. On the scales, they are lighter than a breath all of them together. Put no trust in extortion. In robbery, take no empty pride. Although wealth increase, set not your heart upon it. God has spoken once, twice have I heard it, that power belongs to God. Steadfast love is yours, O Lord, for you repay everyone according to his deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Paul's letter to the Acts of the Apostles. They went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. When they had come opposite Myasia, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So passing by Myasia, they went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. 
When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. We set sail from Troas and took a straight course to Samothrace the following day to Neapolis and from there to Philippi, which is a leading city of the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in the city for some days. On the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river where we supposed there was a place of prayer and we sat down and spoke to the woman who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Thyatria and a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was said by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she urged us, saying, If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And we'll say Canticle 13, a song of praise together, found on page 90. Glory to you, Lord God of our fathers. You are worthy of praise. Glory to you. Glory to you for the radiance of your holy name. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you in the splendor of your temple. On the throne of your majesty, glory to you. Glory to you seated between the cherubim. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Glory to you beholding the depths in the high vault of heaven. Glory to you. Glory to you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We will praise you and highly exalt you forever. Continuing with the Apostles' Creed found on page 96. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness. Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world. For only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. O God, because without you we are not able to please you, mercifully grant that your Holy Spirit may it be in all things direct and rule our hearts through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life we may not forget you, but remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of your faithful people is governed and sanctified, receive our supplications and prayers, which we offer before you for all members of your holy church, that in their vocation and ministry, they may truly and devoutly serve you through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. At this time, please feel free to offer any prayers of intercessions or thanksgivings.
I would offer a prayer of thanksgiving uh, for bringing us to this Tuesday morning. And I pray that uh, we may be compassionate and have empathy for all those who we might not agree with, but to honor them as children of God. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for joining me this Tuesday morning. I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.